Much like Mortal Kombat 1 and Sonic the Hedgehog 1 before it, if you grew up in the 90s and you had a Sega Genesis or you knew somebody that had a Sega Genesis, odds are good you know what Sonic the Hedgehog 2 already is. But for the sake of an intro that's longer than 5.5 seconds, let's do a quick recap. Sonic the Hedgehog 2 was the sequel released to Sonic the Hedgehog 1 a year after the original game's release. That's it, there's your intro. This list in particular is going to be talking about some of the better zones in Sonic the Hedgehog 2, because let's be honest, there are some stinkers in Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Sonic the Hedgehog 2 is a good game, absolutely, but it didn't do everything better than Sonic the Hedgehog 1. This is just another ranking. The top six zones of Sonic the Hedgehog 2. We're gonna start getting controversial right off the bat here with number six, Chemical Plant Zone. Most people swear up and down the Chemical Plant Zone is Sonic 2's best level. I'm not gonna say that. I'm not going to say that at all, because I really don't care for it all that much. Over the years, it's gotten kind of annoying to me. I still love the level design. Some of the layout is pretty cool. Some of the gimmicks are neat. You know, the little tubes that send you around the level are really cool and all that. The first act in particular is insanely short, and act two gets a little long in the tooth, especially with that underwater section. Now, if you are good enough, it is entirely possible to get through all of that without even touching the water. I've done it a few times myself. Not in this footage, but I have done it. All that being said, compared to the other zones on this list, it rests nicely at number six, which is not a bad thing at all. There are some zones not on this list after. <laughs> We're gonna get really controversial now with number five, Metropolis Zone. <laughs> now, this is one of the most hated levels of Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Most people hate it, and for good reason. It's a level that's way too long for Sonic the Hedgehog 2. It's full of cheap-ass bullshit that causes a lot of death, a lot of frustration, it's just everything. You have the little crabs, you have the crushers, you have those screws, you have the fucking starmies that explode, you have those little praying mantis assholes that throw their arm blades at you while you're on a screw. Yeah, they fuck everybody over. That's why most people hate this level. And I hate it too. But at the same time, I love it so much. I love it so much. This is, this is basically Scrap Brain Zone on fucking crap. Okay, that's what it is. Scrap Brain Zone was an amazing level, and it felt like a final level. This game feels sort of like a penultimate level before the penultimate level. It's Scrap Brain Zone on crack. I love Scrap Brain Zone, and therefore Metropolis sits at number five. <laughs> Coming in at number four is Sky Chase Zone. This is the zone that follows Metropolis Zone, but comes before Wing Fortress Zone. There's really not much here. It's an interlude. That's really all it is. That's actually why I like it. It's a relaxing level. You got off three acts of Scrap Brain Zone on fucking crack. You have a fortress that you're chasing down. This is sort of your downtime, your time to think about what's going on before you catch up with Robotnik. It's nice, it's relaxing, although some of the fucking enemies are cheap motherfuckers, I hate them. But that aside, it's a good level, it's a short level, it's straight to the point, and the wonderful thing about it is, it's always the same length. You're generally gonna finish the same exact time every time you play through the game. It's an interlude really all it is. It's a nice, relaxing interlude between the last pain in the ass level before the final showdown. <laughs> this is where things start getting really fun to talk about. Coming in at number three is Casino Night Zone. This is hands fucking down 
one of the best zones in this game. Now, effectively, Casino Night is Spring Yard Zone on fucking crack, but that even that description does a disservice for how good this level is. Spring Yard Zone in Sonic the Hedgehog 1 was a lot of fun. I, I, what, no, not the greatest zone. It, basically a pinball machine without all of the parts. You didn't have the flippers, you just had the bumpers and some springs and everything in Spring Yard Zone. Casino Night, you have springs, springs, metal bumpers of all shapes and sizes, the regular round bumpers, and an actual pinball mechanism. You have flippers, and you also have slot machines. Mm. Casino Night is amazing. It gives you pinball and gambling in Sonic the Hedgehog 2. The only thing that would make this zone that much better is if instead of the upbeat jazz music we got in single player mode, we got the music that plays in the two player version of this zone. And that music in the two player zone is fucking phenomenal. I wish that was the single player mode's music because that is just, oh, that's amazing. Just uh, be careful about the three Robotniks in the slot machine. <laughs> All right, so let's take a pause for a second and imagine something really quick. You're in Hilltop Zone. You just beat Robotnik with his stupid little flame-belching machine. You save the animals, and you're off to the next zone. What is it going to be? It's dark. It's quiet. And then all you hear are the opening notes to this tune. <laughs> <laughs> this is Mystic Cave Zone. Obviously, it's a cave, but there's more to it than that. It's not just a cave. It's a cave that you actually want to explore. This is one of those levels that has got a lot going on, but not in the sense of it has a lot of shit on the screen. It doesn't have that going on, but in the sense that you're traveling over quite a varied type, very various types of of terrain all throughout the level at any chance you get. You're going on vines, you're going on bridges, you're going on swinging platforms. You have to fight these stupid little lightning bugs that love to stop in the middle of the air and flash their ass at you. You have these little blue worms that come out of hidden ledges to stop you in your tracks, and those guys really do get in the way. They really will hit you out of fucking nowhere. They're the worst. And you have hidden switches covered in vines bringing down bridges and opening doors and you have cardboard boxes not cardboard boxes but you know the wooden crates going around that gonna crush you in a moment's notice and then you have the stupid little crushers that are in certain parts of the level little green things and you have spiked platforms that come out of the walls that you have to jump on there's just so much stuff in this zone it is absolutely amazing and, yeah, the music just makes it that much better. Now, discounting the very infamous uh, instant death pit, or the drawn-out death pit, it's pretty much a guaranteed death pit if you fall in there. You, you'll you know it if you've played this level. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Aside from that little blemish, this zone is amazing. Coming in at number one, Wing Fortress Zone. Now, this zone starts off amazingly. You just finished Sky Chase Zone. You have tails flying you on the biplane. You're coming up on the fortress, and all of a sudden, lasers start flying, and the plane goes down. You, as Sonic, have one option. Jump on the fortress. And when you do that, Tails is gone. You're up here by yourself. You're on your own against Robotnik's entire defense system. Your goal, to get inside Robotnik's main chamber and chase him down. <laughs> That's really it. It always leads to a chase when it comes to these, you know, final zones. But that's it. It's a platforming zone. There's no real gimmicks to it. There's no loop-de-loops. There's no 
vines, there's no water, there's nothing. You have little chicken cannon cluckers that shoot eggs at you. You have the little guns on some of the wings that shoot annoying bullets at you that you have to avoid. But that's it. Most of it is platforming. And most of it is platforming above a bottomless pit. And one wrong move, and you're toast. This is basically a final challenge zone to make sure you know how to platform in the game. Just like the final zone is a test of your skills basically with boss fights to make sure you can clear boss fights without getting hit. That's what this zone is, but for platforming. And even the final boss of this zone, the, the laser grid, that that, that, that that showdown with Robotnik laughing outside of, in this safe room, laughing at you as the laser tries to shoot you. So amazing. This zone, one of the best, even though it's simple. It's simple, but it's a really solid platform. And so that wraps up another ranking list. Much appreciated if you sat and watched the entire time. Next video will be out sometime, hopefully within the next month. I'm going to try and get onto it. I am not going to say what it's going to be because I don't even know what it's going to be. But keep your eyes open in the coming weeks. It'll be up shortly. Until then, hey, have a good night, good day, whatever it is.